All right, this is a tutorial for the Autodesk Inventor Professional. We'll be doing the Sketch Plane Cube today. For starters, we're going to want a new part. So you can either come over here to where it says New Part, come up here to this little drop down arrow, and go to Part there. That's exactly what I'm going to do while we wait for it to load. Autodesk is a CAD software, it is computer aided design. Using this particular software, you can create any three dimensional object that you would like to or that you could possibly think up, given the fact that you'll need a lot of patience to do that. Um, but basically, it's unlimited. It does take a second to load. It is a bigger program, so it's going to take a minute. Okay, so right off the bat, you're going to notice there are lots of different things going on up here. We've got all sorts of crazy stuff that we can potentially use. For us today, we're going to try to keep it as simple as possible. We're going to make just a simple three-dimensional cube. We're going to start here with a two-dimensional sketch. Even though we want it to be three-dimensional eventually, we have to start with a two-dimensional sketch. So I'm just going to click that. You'll see it gives me this crazy grid, and it's actually the different axes. So I have my vertical, my horizontal, and then of course my depth. You can choose any one of these three. It really doesn't matter for this project. I'm just going to select this one, and it's going to give me a two-dimensional sketch. Now, to start our cube, we want a two-inch by two-inch cube. So I'm going to come up here to where it says rectangle. I'm just going to click on it. If I click once, I can move and find my boxes and you can see where um, the dimensions are showing up. I could try really hard to try to get it right on two or I can do the cheater way. I can just type in two. You see that it changed there. Hit tab, hit two again and it will give me an automatic one as soon as I hit enter. Zoom out just a little bit. Sometimes it, it doesn't get centered, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little hand and move it more into the center. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. It's just I prefer it that way. And you'll notice it is not centered with this particular dot right in the center. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to make this square, my 2 inch by 2 inch square, into a three-dimensional cube. So I'm going to come up here to finish sketch, and it kind of brings me out. Now I'm going to do something called extrude this particular square and bring it out another two inches. To do that, I'm going to come right up here to where it says extrude, and you can see this will basically take any two-dimensional shape and stretch it to a three-dimensional shape. So as soon as I hit it, it's going to start popping out a little bit, but it's only going to come out about one inch. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to type in the number two, and I'm going to hit enter. And it gives me my three-dimensional cube here. Now it's just a plain cube. We kind of want to spice it up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do here on the top is I'm going to bring another smaller three-dimensional square, and I'm going to bring it up and out from the top. To do that, I'm going to select, left click the square, and you'll see it gives me these three little buttons. I could change the extrusion, I could edit the sketch, or I could create a sketch on top of that particular surface. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I went to create a sketch, and you'll see I'm now looking at the top of my square. I'm going to add a one inch by one inch cube on top. So I'm going to go back to the rectangle shape. I am going to just click anywhere. Now again, I could try to find exactly one inch by one inch, which I did there, or I could just do one, tab, one, enter, and it will automatically give me that shape. Now I don't know for sure if this particular square is exactly in the middle. We're going to have to do some work on that. I can come up here to where it says dimension and I'm going to basically figure out how much space between this line and this line. Now I know that from here all the way to here is two inches and I know from here to here is one inch. 
So to center this, I have to figure it take one inch away from two inch, which gives me one inch again. And half of one inch is exactly one half inch. So I can figure out exactly and move this cube if I need to by selecting both lines. Just kidding. Sometimes it, it's a little tricky. If you select the outer dimension line, so you have to hit the dimension button again, select that, grab that one, and pull back. You'll notice that this says that from here to here is 0 0.43 inches. Well, I want that to be 0 0.5, so I'm just going to type in 0 0.5 and hit enter. And you'll notice that moved my cube just a little bit. So now it is centered this way, but I need to center it vertically now. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Make sure my dimension button is checked here. I'm going to check the outside box line first. Come up here to the other green line. Oops. I did that wrong. So I'm going to come up here again. And right there, you'll notice it just happened to be a half an inch. So that works really well. If it had come up something crazy like 0.6 or 0.3 or whatever, I could still do 0.5 and hit enter again. So now my one inch square is exactly in the center of my two inch cube. So I can come back up here to finish sketch. And I'm going to extrude it up. So it's already selected on this plane. So I can just come up here to extrude. And you'll notice I have to select this little surface. Now this is, it automatically goes back to whatever you did before. And so I had a two inch extrusion and you'll notice this thing's way up high. Well I don't want it that high. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to 0.5 because I only want it to be a half an inch out. Now you'll notice there's all sorts of crazy different things we could do. We could come here which means it's going to be basically just the outside but I want it solid so I'm going to keep it solid. I could come in here and I can cut it in meaning it's going to go down instead of out but this time I want it to go out. I could also change the direction by making it go all the way through, but I don't necessarily want to do that. So I'm going to come back here to 0.5 and just hit enter. So now I have a little cube thing sticking out of the side, but that's not enough. So instead, I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to cut a circle hole in this side. So again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to left click Go to create a sketch right over here. It's going to give me this surface. Now, I want to make a circle that I eventually will make into a hole. So I want a one inch circle, just like I had my one inch cube on the top. So I come over here. I could try my best to get it in the center. It doesn't really matter. Click once. And I'm going to do that exact same thing. I'm just going to type in one and hit enter. So now I have a one inch circle. But you'll notice this is nowhere near to being in the exact center of my cube. So to do that, I'm going to go back up to my dimension tool. Now, the exact center of a 2-inch cube or 2-inch surface is 1. So I really, really simple. I'm just going to select this, come in, find the exact center, bring it back out. And you'll notice right now it says 1.375. All I have to do is type in 1 and hit Enter, and it's going to move it centered right down this line but now I need to center it the opposite way too so I can come right in here grab that line click it once find the center of my circle click bring it back down you'll notice this is at 0.813 I can just hit one again hit enter now my circle is in the exact center of that square so I'm gonna hit finish sketch so now, instead of extruding it out, I want to extrude it into my cube so that it makes kind of a little hole. So I'm going to hit Extrude again. I'm going to select somewhere inside of the circle. So it defaults is going the exact opposite, or the exact same thing that we did up here. But I want it to go in, not out. So I can actually come up here to where it says Cut. Select that, and you'll notice that it automatically changes direction and goes into the cube instead of coming out of the cube. I want to keep the dimensions the exact same, 0.5, 
and just hit OK. So now I have a hole there. Well, that's not good enough because I think we can do more. So let's go ahead and put a circle shape sticking out of this face. So I'm going to select it again, hit left click, create sketch. So it's going to give me this surface to work with. So let's get another circle here. I'm going to do another one inch circle. I'm just going to hit one and enter. I'm going to make sure that it is in the exact center again. So again, I'm going to select this line after I hit the dimensions tab up here. Select this line, find the center of my circle, click it, pull it out. And you'll notice it's already one inch, so I did a really good job there. But if it wasn't, I'd type in one and hit enter. Now I have to do this ang or this to this and make sure that it's one inch. So I'm going to select this bottom line, click the center of my circle. Now it's going to be difficult because since I'm on this axis here, it might not read it. So I'm going to do it, try it again. I'm going to hit dimension and I'm going to select this line, come down, and I'm going to pull it all the way out. And you'll notice it was not in the exact center, which is not a bad deal. I'm just going to hit one and hit enter. And now I have that circle there. So again, I'm going to hit finish sketch. I want to extrude this another half an inch. Just like that. It says 0.5. And there you go. Now you can see I have all of my sketch cube done. I can bring it right back. I've got a hole. I've got stuff sticking out of it. And it looks really good. And so that's the sketch cube. I know it seems a little bit more difficult, but it really isn't that bad when you break it down step by step.